finding good quality armor and weapons for reenactment can be really hard. There isn't a lot of bricks and mortar stores in Australia, and buying online can be hit and miss. In this video, we're doing a review of the medieval fight club Crusading Knight's Dagger. That is this one right here. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel, you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. I've been looking around for some really good daggers for reenactment, something that was uh, suitable for reenactment, but also had to be suitable for, for, for being able to demonstrate good fighting techniques. It needed to be well balanced, it needed to be realistic, and it, it didn't need to I wasn't looking for something that was the Hollywood dagger, which is just simply fantasy. Alrighty, so looking at this dagger right here, we have something which is quite credibly realistic. Starting, starting at the base, we've got a really nice pommel. Really good, really authentic looking, nice feel to it. I've got a nice leather covered grip, which is, is really good. It's nice and suitable. Um, I like the cross guard, it seems to be really well put into place. I have used this in fighting and I really do like it. We then take a look at the profile of the blade itself. You can see, well, you can see there's a, a nice profile. This is three millimeters thick, so it, it is reenactment safe. Nice dull edge, nice rounded tip. So it shouldn't be any issues there, but please do check the rules for your medieval reenactment group. The price is $50, which I thought was incredibly reasonable. The overall length is 41 centimeters. The blade itself is 27 centimeters. It weighs just 410 grams, which I find incredibly, uh, that, is, that is incredibly good. And we have the width of the blade at 35 millimeters. Overall, I think this is an incredible piece of kit. <laughs> Please click the link above to see how I made a scabbard for one of these daggers. Rightio, there you go guys. I really, really, really do like this. I, I think it, it is, it, not only is it very price competitive, uh, and I, I think it's incredible as a production piece. It has the look, it has the feel of a really realistic and authentic uh, piece of kit from the Middle Ages. This is something that would have been around from, I would have thought, uh, something like the, the sort of second or, or so, th perhaps even third crusade. This is something that's right in the high Middle Ages and I, I think it's it's perfectly reasonable for those of you who are into reenacting the Templars, the Crusaders, the Knights during the pinnacle of their role in society. I give this a really solid 9 out of 10. I just think this is fantastic, really well priced. This is obviously made from a, a modern steel as opposed to a medieval type of steel. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Um, it's easy to keep clean, it's easy to maintain. You do need to maintain it just a little bit occasionally, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. Righto well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.